Thomas and Scarloe's big day out. It was a beautiful, bright summer on the island of Sodor. Thomas, the tank engine, was taking passengers to the seaside. In the summer holidays, Thomas went there nearly every day. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to see Thomas. I have an important special for you, he said. I need you to take some steel pipes to the wharf. Thomas was delighted. There were lots of sights to see on the way to the wharf. First, Thomas passed the Scottish castle. Next, he went through Shen Valley. Finally, he looked at the wonderful view from the top of Gordon's Hill. But when Thomas arrived at the wharf, he saw Skarloey. Skarloey looked very sad. He had broken down. There's no one to take me to the repairer's yard, Skarloey chuffed. Maybe I can take you, puffed Thomas. Please, sir, Thomas asked the narrow gauge controller. Can I take Scarloey to the repairers? Scarloey is very heavy, said the narrow gauge controller. I'm sure I can pull him, puffed Thomas. And I finished all my other jobs. Very well, said the narrow gauge controller, but you must go straight there. Yes, sir, whistled Thomas. The coupling on that flatbed is old, so take care, he added. So Scarloey was loaded onto the flatbed. Scarloey was sad. I don't like going to the repairers, he puffed. Thomas wanted to cheer Scarloey up. I'll show you some wonderful new sights. Sights you never see in the mountains, chuffed Thomas cheerfully. This will be your big day out. And Thomas puffed away, pulling his friend carefully behind him. So, Thomas didn't take Scarlory straight to the repairers. He puffed through the farms and forests. They arrived at the Scottish castle. There, puffed Thomas proudly. Isn't it wonderful? It's very nice, chuffed Scarloey. But we have a castle in the mountains. Then I'll show you Shen Valley, puffed Thomas. Thomas and Scarloey puffed through the flowery fields and the green meadows of Shen Valley. There, whistled Thomas grandly. It's very nice, chuffed Scarloey. But we have green valleys in the mountains. Thomas felt sad. He wanted Scarloey to have a big day out. He had to find something Scarloey had never seen before. I know, Puff Thomas. I'll show you the view from the top of Gordon's Hill. So Thomas huffed and puffed up Gordon's Hill. Scarloey was very heavy. The old flatbed coupling creaked and groaned. But still, Thomas huffed and chuffed as hard as he could. Then there was trouble. Just as he got to the top of the hill, the coupling came loose, and Scarloey rolled backwards. Help! cried Scarloey, but it was too late. Scarloey's flatbed biffed into the sidings and came off the track. Oh, no, moaned Thomas. 
The narrow gauge controller told me to go straight to the repairer's yard, but I wanted to give you a big day out. Now look what's happened. Thomas was very unhappy. So Thomas's driver coupled him up again to the flatbed. Thomas pulled Scarloe and the flatbed carefully back onto the tracks, and they set off for the repairer's yard. Thomas didn't try to show Scarloe any more sights. He puffed as fast as he could to do his job. The fastest way to the repairer's yard was the track by the seaside. Thomas had to stop at a signal. Scarloe looked out at the sea in the sand. There were sand castles, donkey rides, and children eating ice cream. It looked marvelous. It's wonderful, gasped Scarloe. I've never seen anything like that before. Scarloe was so excited it made his axles tingle. Thomas was surprised and delighted. I see the beach almost every day, he tooted happily. Thomas took Scarloe to the repairers. I'll wait and take you back, tooted Thomas. Thank you, wheezed Scarloe. When he was repaired, Thomas took Scarloe to look at the beach once again. This is the best big day out ever, puffed Scarloe. Thomas was delighted. 